Hey guys, welcome back to the collector's table. I got a special guest with me here at Statue oh. Con today, Mr. X himself. Uh, took the time, I appreciate it, man. And uh, joining me on this little mini review of this Gigantor LBS Hulk. Uh, really big piece. Uh, thoughts on this, man? What do you think? So, uh, first of all, you're giving me $20, right? Yes, yep. okay, that's it's fine. Coming. It's coming. Okay. <laughs> Second of all, if you want to know my thoughts on this, uh, I've actually reviewed it before. But, uh, <laughs> not kidding. A little plug. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I uh, actually reviewed the green one. Okay. Uh, and it was uh, it was the uh, normal version, not the ultimate either. So we're gonna have the additional Kirby portraits. So I think this is always hard for me because technically this isn't LBS; it's LBS with XM. Right. That's a good point. Yeah. So recently, uh, uh, another plug. I did a countdown of best companies. Everyone's like, "What about LBS? What about L LBS? Hasn't made their solo statue yet?" Yeah, yeah. They got yeah, some yeah. great teasers, yeah, and yeah, I think yeah, Jay's fantastic. Sure. But no, this is I think the quintessential Hulk. Whether you go with the green or the gray. Um, I mean, this is the Hulk I grew up with in the comic books. Yeah, so, so you like the older version? I do. The Kirby version. I do. I do. You know, and, and I think that they just knocked this out of the park. The, put aside the fact that the paint and sculpt is amazing, mm -hmm. uh, despite a few you know flaws that happen in, in processing, the bases on these one third LBS Marvel pieces are out of this. Really, world. what makes it? Right? Yeah. 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 For yeah, sure. I mean, I mean, putting all these next to each other, just phenomenal. The only criticism I'd have is because the Hulk's so naturally big, he dwarfs the other characters. Uh, yeah, that's a very good point. I think you could actually take this bottom part off, though, and just have the top layer, right? Correct. And I don't necessarily mean the height, because even Thor, Thor's base is, is like this big and Captain's, but just how wide and, and yeah. bulky this guy is. For sure. So, but no, I mean, uh, I do have a quarter scale custom I like a little bit more, just because I'm more, I, I, I like quarter scale a little bit better. Okay. But no, I think these are the licensed Hulk's to be, in my opinion. Opinion, whether it's the, the green or the uh, green, gray one. Yeah, this base is crazy, man. If you get a close up of the base, it really tells a story. LBS is really known for that, right? Uh, and then another thing I wanted to point out if we pan up here to the enamel on like the nails, I really like that. Now, as far as the portrait is concerned, like this is not my style. I know a lot of people like the style, which is all good. I kind of like the modernized Hulk a little bit more. Um, I like the green version. I think there was, what, three different versions? Am I right on that? So, uh, with the green? Yeah. Yeah, I, you had three different torsos. Three different torsos, torsos that's right. Yeah. Yep. And then you got the uh, display stand for the torsos. So. And yeah. I, I don't know, you, you know why we have a gray Hulk, right? You tell us. So, originally, he was supposed to be green from the beginning, but the original prints in the original Hulk comics made him gray. Because uh, the ink wasn't working right, that's why we have a gray hole. But what's crazy is no that was that was for a very short period of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yet the gray Hulk still stands as nostalgic and iconic That's crazy, even though man. it was less than a year they were printing gray Hulk. I did not know that you yep. schooled me on a little bit of that no, Stan, so. Stan wanted it to be green but the original print printing press made it gray very cool very cool uh, if you want to get a size comparison obviously you probably won't want to use my hand why did you put your hand in there you're a bigger dude than so, me but like this is yeah that's a, a that's a size comparison if you guys were wondering but I also like the base, like the top of the base, like all this radioactive stuff is a, a really nice touch too. And the rips and the detail in his pants. It's just an overall really cool piece. But anyway, guys, we just wanted to show you that real quick. Uh, here from Statue Con, St. Joseph, uh, for the second year in a row. Meeting Mr. X here for the first time. Thanks for coming out, man. Thank Appreciate you. Bam. I don't like to touch. He don't touch people. Oh, well. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs>